So the other day I tweeted about how I discovered the perfect way to train in Rocket League, and I guarantee that if you try this out for yourself, your future self will thank you. I personally have over 11,000 hours in the game, and I'm even finding this super useful for elevating my own gameplay. And what's cool is that this works for all skill levels, all ranks, and any mechanic or skill that you want to particularly work on. But before I jump into it, if you're enjoying the daily episodes and haven't subscribed yet, it helps me out a ton. Anyway, let me first explain what this is all about. We start with a training pack. It actually does not matter which training pack you do this with, but for today I'm using the Ultimate Warm Up by Hanada. This pack has 50 shots of varying positions and speed of the ball, and we're going to take every single one of these shots and turn them into one type of shot. For this video, I've decided to show off double touches. Now, double touches can be pretty tough for many players, so I would say that if you want to try this pack at a lower level, maybe try catching the ball and dribbling the ball into the goal without dropping it, or to elevate it a little bit even further, try this without any boost at all, which makes it just that much more difficult. To see your gradual improvement, try also using a stopwatch and time yourself. If you find the training pack is too easy for the shot you're taking, try something else and make it a little harder for yourself. In the future, I might do another video where I take suggestions of tough packs and certain mechanics. But the idea here is to be uncomfortable and try to minimize the discomfort in each shot. Believe it or not, that is how you learn car control. It's a natural progression and early on in my Rocket League days, I sat in training routines like this for hours on end trying to perfect one single situation. Anyway, let's jump right into the very first run of this training pack and I'll explain as I go through of what things I look for and how to improve. Three, two, one, go. Timers for myself, it doesn't really actually matter. You can just, you know, do these in practice until you get good touches. Um, but it's a matter of just getting used to the uh, positions and getting good solid contact and then trying to follow it up for the next touch. I did that one already onto the number three. Also, I'm using Bakis mod, which is allowing me to skip through these a little bit faster, which I hope is just, you know, good for you guys watching and and if you don't have Bacchus mod um you can get it on epic games and steam um but otherwise if your console sorry there's no luck <laughs> there's a good double tap move on here and this is basically what i'm be doing through all the shots like a lot of them are pretty weird though um there, you'll see in the, in the bit there's a few shots that are kind of an exception um but obviously this is just an example of what you can do with training packs don't just like do what you normally would do try something different this, this shot is one of those exceptions where it's kind of like, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, we did it though. There we go. Oh, I'm coming in too hot. So that's when I'm like, I'm realizing that my uh, starting hit was good, but the way I came in was not. So I want to slow it down a little bit and change up my direction. It's a good first touch. Bit of a tough shot though. Reset it. Oh, side flip. It's a good first touch. Got to slow myself down a little bit. And you can see how I'm changing my, uh, oh, I already did this one. I'm changing my aerial direction, um, by like slowing myself down. There we go. You can see how each one of these is like a different situation and you can turn it into a double tap. Um, you know, you could, we could do another series of this or another episode where, uh, instead of a double tap, it's like a flip reset or something. Um, and we have to do that each time. But you can see it doesn't really, I'm not really like too focused on where it's going on the shot. Like we could do another challenge in the future. Um, where it's uh you know has to not touch the floor um and this shot right here is actually under under um appreciated like being able to turn on this really quickly and get a, a shot directly towards target you can see it's not actually that easy to get a consistent um shot but it's really good practice to just turn on this and drift like this and try to get uh it back towards target if i get this on target it would be a miracle Right here, I'm going to use the pop to pop the ball up, and then hopefully I can shoot it towards target. I do, and there we go. This is one of these shots where it's a little bit tough, but I might have to do a, another aerial touch to get to the backboard first, like that. So that's what currently what I want to do. So I'm going to soften the ball and then follow it with an air dribble. I don't think I got it high enough. But even even in still doing this and practicing these touches, I'm getting like you know consistent at, at air dribbles, at um, first touches. I'm getting good touches like this. Let's see if I can follow it to the backboard. Nice. So like it's you're learning a lot more just by doing this. Um, obviously, I'm able to do this stuff and you might not be able to, but that should be like your goal is like if, if people ask me on stream, uh, which people do ask me all the time, uh, you know, how do I improve and stuff? I'm like, are you doing these kind of training packs and like getting into awkward positions and trying to uh, improve them? Because the only way you're going to improve is if you don't do the same thing you're doing all the time. If you're doing if you're doing the same old training that you do every day in free play, there's no way you're going to improve because that's what you're used to. You're doing what's comfortable instead of what's uncomfortable. So you want to you want to in 
improve uh, your um, your roster of moves and and abilities. So these are just mirrored, I guess. Not a great shot. Eh. Let's probably go a little bit higher this one. There we go. Get first touch. Try to follow it. I'm a little bit too close to the net though. Oh yeah, wait. That's hard. So you could wait for the bounce here if you're not comfortable with it. I'm, I'm trying to use the fact that there might be someone challenging in my head. Like I, I think, okay, there's someone challenging that ball. I got to jump up earlier. Obviously, I'm using like 300 boost. But still, it's good to get comfortable. Same with this. I, I might wait for the bounce here because it's a little bit too heavy of a touch. And there we go. Next one. Get a first air dribble into a touch first and then follow it with the shot. I'll play. This one's obviously at the wall. So just go for a, a single touch and then into a double touch again. So it's all kind of the same thing. But as you go through this, you'll get more and more comfortable. And you'll find that your your reads on your backboards are going to be much more consistent. As you can see, I'm kind of flying through these shots now. Um, so the more you, you you practice this, the more consistent you'll get. I, I swear on my life, I did this this pack. I played a ranked game. And I the first shot I scored was off a kickoff, a big double tap. Which was like super confident shot. Um off of the the first touch um I, it, it sounds silly but i do feel like way more confident when i do these kind of things and uh you know i've got 11,000 hours in the game um there's no excuse uh for me to not do these anymore i think that's still helpful to get uh to get practice in these uh basic things Woo! that came up a lot higher than i expected i back up a little bit first so i can get a little bit more of a pop hey there we go Ah! I suck. <laughs> there we go. That's a good first touch. So I'm going to soften the touch with that little air roll that I did there to soften the ball closer. I guess this is the same thing on the other side. This feels a little bit closer though. There we go. Nice. I guess this is like just a setup here. Like I said, not all of them are great for setups for double taps. But the idea is try to try to like improvise and find a way to do it. Uh, this one's like kind of like setting you up for the wall dribble. Um, see if I can do a flip reset into the double. No, <laughs> never mind. Make sure I get a good solid touch and then follow it with the shot. There we go. Same thing on the other side. And this is good too because it's mirroring your shots. I find I find that I do bias one side a little more than the other when I'm in free play. So I tend to not practice like the left side as much. So this is good practice too to get used to shooting from different positions. Get a first touch and then a second in the air. And you can see how I'm softening the that touch too with the fact that I'm air rolling. Keep it close, but then also, um, you know, with with some power so it gets consistently to the wall. So good soft touch off the ceiling. Didn't air roll properly though. Um, right here you want to soften it with the front of the car and then obviously lead, lead into it. But if you, are, if you are still at a level where you can't double tap and, uh, you know, you're not finding... Uh, these shots very comfortable um just practice good contact onto the backboard don't even try with the follow-up and then try to get used to air rolling at the last second to get a little more comfortable of a shot like the air roll helps you basically oh i already did the shot the air roll helps you uh reduce recoil of the car and the ball it's a pretty fast one some of these are really fast so getting the the double tab is a lot more difficult you're gonna find i think it's like 39 or 37 in this in this pack um is really quickly uh, really quick not quickly <laughs> i already did this one there we go i always forget to skip to the next one nice i'm trying to make this like super quick for you guys so you can just see like how i'm approaching each shot um and how i'm like hitting that touch like right there um you can see how when i'm when i'm making the mistakes i'm not getting that consistent touch that i am and in, in, in the ones where i am successful and hopefully oh this one's one of the hard ones oh yeah wait so yeah, like I'm trying to double tap this. Like that that's what I'm going to be doing. This one might take me a while, but I'm going to keep going until I double tap it. In a real game you wouldn't do this, but it's elevating my abilities as a player um to go in these ridiculous situations and make something of it. And then when you play Rocket League, you'll find that the situations you actually get presented are a lot easier than these. So that's why like I like to do this. Uh it makes the regular shots seem really easy and then I get more confident with my shots in the game. Because no one's, no one's going to, you know, get this shot <laughs> in most situations. And someone's going to defend it. So I need to go a little bit higher up and then 
adjust the softness of the touch like that. Um, it's all about just getting used to these. This is this is the one I'm talking about. 37. It's possible. So I'm going to keep trying until I do it. Oi! So close. I'm going to try and focus on this one. Nope. Shot it. <laughs> Great. I got the I got the blue, but I didn't get on target. There we go. I would count that. I mean, like it's all in your own basis, anyways. If you think that it's worth, I mean, if it if it counts, it counts. Um, I also didn't mention that I do like using the the corners as well, but to do that, you have to kind of tap it like this off that corner. There we go. So I like to use those corners as well as like a double tap. Um, that one's a little bit awkward to do a double tap. Otherwise, I wouldn't say it's really possible to do a shot off the backboard. Um, but you know, right here, I like to pop this one up and then try to follow it up with an air dribble afterwards. Get the like the proper stop for it, and then I can follow it up like this. It's a little bit tough. If you don't want that, you can wait for it to go to the backboard and roll up. I like to try and challenge myself. It's this one's pretty tough. Uh, I mean, sure. <laughs> I guess that would count. I'm way too close. Oh, so close. Not a good touch. No, I like triple tapped it, but I couldn't score. This one's this one's one of the harder ones too, just because of the setup. I'm getting, I'm getting like decent shots, but I'm just not getting on target or, or off the backboard. This should be it here. There we go. So yeah, like like I like I said, I've got eleven thousand hours, and there's still a lot of things that like I'm not consistent at, and uh, practicing practicing these like simpler things as far as like mechanics go uh, is really good with consistency. Um, just getting good touches. Like every time I shoot this, I should be scoring this off a double tap in game, but as you can see, still still missing. <laughs> but uh, that's that's kind of what you want to do. You want to improve your consistency. And learn how to get like soft touches like this where you like you kind of cushion the ball with your car that way you can get a perfect follow-up i just finished that one it's kind of weird i gotta go for a wide shot here that yeah, counts um it's all about like that proper it's all about the first touch for most most of these you see like i'm trying to lead around to the middle of the ball so it pops with the way that my car also is driving uh, well, also flying, I mean, not driving. Once I'm in the air, I want to make sure that I follow it like this. Probably shoot this. Nice. There we go. Not a good touch. This one's further away now, so when I see this ball being uh, ahead of the midfield, I would say like I like to follow this up with a second touch to get to the backboard first. I get touch like that, and then redirect myself uh, into a good position. This is going to be tough. I don't think I'm going to score this unless I hit it off the corner. Okay, close. That's a good first touch. So it's already leading towards uh, the goal. Um, I hit the crossbar, though. <laughs> um, the way that I want to pop this is kind of like pop it to the left a little bit. So it stays near the the middle of the field. And my car can follow it up into a follow-up uh, touch. Still a bit far here. That was going to be really tough to score if I didn't get that first angle. There we go. Get a little bit of a, a redirect off the back of my car. The way that I shoot these is if I'm super close to the net, I don't really air roll too much. I just like to do a backflip like this and then change my car to become the wall. Um, I've talked about this in my Road to SSL series. If you haven't followed along with that, I've got two playlists. Um, I like to create a wall between the ball and the goal and then basically just reflect to the ball off of that. You know, going back to like old uh, elementary physics, you know, just light reflections and stuff. Sort of like that. Obviously, to take into account like, the bounce of the ball and stuff isn't going to be consistent. This could be a double tap off the... Oh, that's super tough. Um, I was going to say, you could like do stuff like where you hit it off the ceiling and then go into the double tap like this. It's pretty tough, but it's also doable. And it's a pretty good mechanic to get used to. Um, to use the ceiling. Because people are using it more often now. At the high level. Oi, oi, oi. I'm gonna try to do that on this one. Like I said, it's not the timer isn't isn't really that important. Uh, it's for your own sake. And for me, like I wanna try and improve like getting a setup where I can hit off the ceiling and then follow it. Um This is gonna be a decent read. 
I mean, it's all about um, it's all about just doing what you're uncomfortable with. Like I said, so don't follow don't follow along exactly with what I'm doing. Obviously, if you can't um, do that, like what I just did there, off the ceiling and then off to the backboard, just start with a simple shot and stuff, and and practice that, and then try to elevate your play as you practice. Like I I get so many people like who have like a thousand hours in the game, and they say they never do this, um, and in order to do the things that SSLs are doing, you have to just work on consistency. There's no, there's no workaround. Uh, there's no shortcut. Um, people just did this over and over again, and it, I, I just, I just don't like that people think that there's like some secrets they don't know. There, there aren't. You just need to get the most memory and practice. Um, you can see how even in this training pack where I've gone through it, I've made quite a few mistakes. But that's okay though, because that's, that's actually meaning that I'm trying something that I'm not super comfortable with. Um, to the point where I'm making mistakes and I can, you know, try to elevate my play. Like try to shoot this off of the off the corner instead. And I'm happy with that. That's just good enough. It might not be a goal in game, but it's uh it's something. Um and it's like, you know, might confuse a player, might make make someone challenge in the corner than they shouldn't. Um and that's all that matters. There we go. Oh, I never mind. I had the right setup, but my car was still coming in way too hot. Ah, once again. I mean, it's a decent shot off the ceiling, but for the sake of this pack, I want to do double taps, <laughs> which is kind of the whole point. So there we go. It's a pretty good shot. And then we got the last one here. Um, pretty far setup. I'm going to back my car up a little bit. See if I can get a... Probably going to do a follow-up touch on this one. So try to pop it up like that and then get a, a setup. Hit it way too hard though. So the way I want to pop this is underneath a little bit, a uh, little bit lighter, and then follow it up with the touch. And there we go. So that wasn't too bad, honestly. Sixteen forty-eight. It's technically forty-seven, but I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little look at like a way to train. And uh, I think like my consistency gets way better when I do this, especially when I haven't played for a while. I don't don't really care about the striker percentage at the end here, like the fifteen percent. Uh, it's all about just practicing and, and resetting and stuff. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little look. Like I said, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, have a great day. and I'll catch you guys in the next one.